Hello, how is everybody? Very nice to be back with you and I'm really excited about this one today because we're going to be doing a deep dive into midlife nutrition, talking about the nutrients that really affect us as we age, talking about things like genius at kind of unpacking the different types of nutrients and how they work. So if you're confused about different types of magnesium, for example, B vitamins, who should be taking them, vitamin D, what kind of strengths, what's K2 got to do with it, and all of that, then this is going to be the Instagram Live for you. So if you're interested in that, drop me a little heart. Nice to see you. Hi, nice to see everybody. Yeah, it's good. It's a nice bright day, isn't it? Very cheerful, makes all the difference. Now I'm just going to see if I can add um, Amy into here just so that we have an extra uh, pair of helping hands on Instagram. There we go, I am just adding you. And let us see, thank you, thank you so much. Lovely to see you, really lovely to see you. So let me see if we can get Andrew in the house. Yeah, here he is. And I have got lots of questions for Andrew and I'll be keeping an eye on the comments as well as they pop up here. So if you have a question, please feel free to add it. Hello. Hi, Liz. Very nice to see you. I was going to adjust my set. No, <laughs> I'm trying to adjust mine as well. Here we go. <laughs> so, I, as I said in my intro, I'm so looking forward to this because what I've learned from you over the years is that there are so many things that we kind of are missing in our diet that we tend to need more of as we age, particularly as midlife women. You know, thinking about things like bone density, bone health, and I know that this is a particular area of research for you, isn't it, at Better You? No, ab absolutely, Liz, absolutely. And, and you're, you're so right. <clears throat> a, lot of, a lot of what we talk about at certain stages in life actually can be replicated throughout life. There are certain nutrients, there are so many nutrients that we require at every major stage through life. Yeah. And I think, as you've always said, it's always about getting that right balance. There's not, you know, there's rarely a single hero that suddenly pops up and they are, that, that is the, the end of all fears, all worries. There's normally a, a multitude of nutrients that, that we need. But at certain stages in life, we might just need to focus a little bit more on one or two of them. And you're right, as we get older, and I, I know you're, um, you're an ambassador for the Royal Osteoporosis Society, a proud one, and I know you are. Um, and I know whenever we, you know, we attend meetings and, and, and go to presentations, I know they talk a, a lot now about, you know, preparing uh, the younger generation, you know, the pre-23, 24-year-olds, oh. to making sure their skeletal structure is as strong as possible. Mm. Because as soon as you hit the early 20s, your bones are about as strong as they're ever going to get. I think no. that's really important. You know, I mean, my, my audience here know that I've got two daughters, Lily and Brella, one's 32 and one's 22. And, you know, I'm very aware that with what they're eating, they're, they're laying down bone density. And Absolutely. as you say, after your sort of mid twenties, we can't pack any more into our bones. That's it. It's done. Yep. So and calcium, really, is... calcium is key. I'm, I'm on their case. I'm saying, you know, for so, heaven's sake, yeah. so especially if you're cutting out dairy, make sure that you have your calcium and that needs other things to lock it in as well doesn't it absolutely i mean there's there's one thing that you know i think a western diet tends not to be light on is is calcium and predominantly through dairy if you cut dairy out then you do need to look at other other forms of, of calcium but oh. calcium is you know prevalent in fresh fruit and vegetables let's not forget that it's you know it's yeah. coming through but you're absolutely right liz it's not just about the calcium intake it's our body's ability to break the calcium down and direct it into the bone and that's where you know I, some of your some of your audience will just think oh my goodness he's he's, he's on about this again but this holy trinity of calcium absorption which is your magnesium no <laughs> magnesium vitamin d and k2 there are okay. also others that um, a few b vitamins as well b12 but the three primary uh, nutrients that we must um I increase that to an optimal level would be magnesium vitamin d and k2 and why they are such a discussion point at the moment is because all three of those have been jeopardized over the last hundred or so years 
through modern diets, you know, modern lifestyles, modern diets. Vitamin D, which we talk about a lot, Liz, you know, it's predominantly from our skin's you know, unprotected exposure to the sun. And by unprotected, yep. I mean without clothes and without sunscreen in our makeup, which is pretty much, you know, all the it's time. I mean, I'm showing about 5% of my skin, yeah, so it doesn't yeah. matter whether it was oh, lazy yeah, hot exactly. I mean, even in, in strong sunlight, you know, I'm very conscious of that balance Absolutely. of you know, protecting my skin, not wanting premature aging, but at the same time, you know, how do I get a bit of vitamin D? I should say there is a lovely Liz Loves, by the way, 15% off everything at Better You. So thank you um, for that, because I know a lot of people will No, it's, it's, it's a pleasure. And, and you're absolutely that's right. You know, for, do, the last, the for the last 200 years, I mean, that's a perfect example because that's got K2 in I there as well as as well as d3 so i have um, the 3000 which is the high strength one and right. i like this with the k2 i bulk buy this you know if you see somebody on your that's website it's going who's ordering <laughs> you know, it's not quite that many but i do because yeah. i give them to all my kids yeah you know, well and, and I, them I, kids at uni i say take this yeah well, just spray so, it in your mouth i've got a 28 year old you know i've got a five-year-old and a two-year-old as well you know and you know d all k2 it's just it's just fundamental Thank and you. since the industrial revolution you know we've just not been outside as much as we used to you know and our us our, 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 you know our ability to resist uv radiation it has has declined and actually yeah. the uv strength has increased due to global warming so we do need to protect our skin therefore supplementation is here to stay you know, that that's that's the thing you know it, 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 it really just, is you know, and, and we've talked about food processing before and the rise of modern agriculture, you know, monocrops, yeah. intensive farming, taking all the magnesium out of the soil, depleting nutrients in soil. And I actually have to say, I'm, I'm, I'm going to hold my hand up here because I was supposed to have a full packet of this. <laughs> Okay. And actually, I got really tempted last night because I love these. And actually, I used it in my bath. It's brilliant it's jet lag, by the way. And th there are a few flakes left yeah. <laughs> to show everybody. But I love this in the bath. And you've done the science because you, you, you sell these lovely flakes with lavender and other things. Yeah. And you can actually absorb this through the skin, can't you? Absolutely. So, so what you're holding up there is the magnesium okay. flakes. They're magnesium chloride. And I think in your introduction, you're absolutely right. You know, magnesium is fundamental for, for we, you know, we're a mineral based life form. You know, magnesium is an incredibly important mineral for every cell within our body. And if you know, we, we talk about magnesium for energy production, muscle relaxation, mental clarity, so, you know, um, bone density, so many uh, elements rely on magnesium. You think, well, how is that possible? How can one mineral do so many things? But, you know, like we started, talking about you know our bodies are an amalgam of so many nutrients who work together but magnesium is one of those minerals that is is in every cell in our body and if you if a cell needs to act so if it's a brain cell or, or a nerve cell if a nerve cell needs to fire or a muscle cell it needs to contract the, there's magnesium inside the cell and then yeah. outside of the cell there's calcium that's every cell in our body and it when that cell needs to do its wow. job Calcium will flood the cell. There's a chemical reaction, and that cell will do its job. Bless you. So, if it's a nerve cell, it will fire. It will fire electrics. If it's a muscle cell, it will contract. If it's a brain cell, it will it will send an electric pulse. So, calcium floods the cell, and then it's the magnesium inside the cell that then pushes all the calcium out of that cell. So, there's no calcium left in the cell. That cell is then at a, a state of relaxation. It then repairs itself. And then the whole process happens again. If there's not enough magnesium in the body, there's not yeah. enough magnesium in the cell to push all that calcium out. And then you get a cell that doesn't fully rest. It's constantly in that, in, in that, um, in that chemical yeah. reaction mode. And so we've seen it with, with muscles, where muscles just never fully relax. And you're always yeah, getting that slightly like cramping, or those yeah, twitches in the eyes. Up. It's the same yeah. for nervous disorders, same for mental clarity, same for bone health. You know, what you need is, is that calcium and magnesium to be equitable, so the magnesium yeah. can push the calcium out of the cell. So, so and, is, and, is that why, then, magnesium is so good for anxiety and absolutely. keeping us calm? 
they call it nature's relaxant and, and it okay. is it, it it helps to calm the body if your body's at rest it is because of magnesium if your body's relaxed and Love repairing it. it's because of magnesium uh, a, a body better able to resist the modern stresses and i'm talking physical and mental of modern life will re will rely totally on its magnesium quota so it's it's really important that we look at magnesium and there are so many different forms of magnesium you're absolutely yeah, no, tell, right tell us about those. this one says you have in in this one for, for the bath zextine magnesium that's right and what that, what is that? i've that, never heard of Ze that zextine is a period in, in in our geological history it's about 250 million years old and what that actually means what? is that that magnesium is magnesium chloride, which is evaporated seawater. And when you evaporate wow. seawater, you get, first of all, you get table salt, so sodium chloride, but there's yeah. still quite a lot of water in there. And if you superheat that, you get another form of salt, which is called um, Epsom salts or magnesium sulfate. Oh, yeah, Epsom salt. yeah. But, you, but that still is, that's still quite a lot of other chemicals in there, a lot of water. If you superheat okay. that, the next salt you get is called bischofite or magnesium chloride hexahydrate. That's what you're holding oh. in your hand. That is, it doesn't go any further. That's the, the, that's the final form of, of a marine salt that you can get. And it, it's basically the structure of, uh, of the compound yes. is very, very weak. So you've got magnesium linked to its compound, linked to chlorine. But the, the bond is so weak that when you add it to the bath, when, it, when you spray it onto your skin, when it yeah, basically it attaches spray. to your skin, mm. the, the bond breaks. Magnesium enters the body. It doesn't go out. It enters the body. And it's the fastest way of elevating cellular magnesium outside of a hospital wow. environment. Now, for the last really? 16 years, this is all we've done. Um, and I've done trial. I've, in fact, I've, I'm a co-author of a trial which hopefully will be published this year with St. Mark's Hospital with an absolute genius called um, Jeremy Nightingale. He's a very, very clever gastroenterologist. And we looked at, um, we, we looked at uh, certain individuals with very, very low magnesium levels due to gastric illness, severe gastric right. illness. Um, and we were, we were able to not only elevate magnesium by self-application, because these patients had to come into hospital every week to get yeah. um, to get intravenous or, or subcutaneous oh. injections. Yeah. They could self-apply and the quality of life improved dramatically you know, because really they didn't have to come in every week, you know? So Amazing. I know this stuff works. Yeah, well, I remember when, I think when we first did our very first live together a while back, were you talking to me about a journey to do with asthma? Yes, on that's, that's actually mine. That's my that's journey. your journey. <clears throat> that was so fascinating. If anybody's not heard this, pay attention. And if you know anybody with asthma, please well, share. Well, asthma is, a, is, is, a, is, again, a classic symptom of where, where your, your body really is struggling to flex. You know? And when we're talking about the muscles around your bronchial airways, you know, you're, for me, personally, I had quite a high calcium intake, a high dairy intake. And, you know, I've been asthmatic since the age of 12. So um, I was on steroid-based inhalers and have been heavily reliant on that. And it was a chance encounter with a biochemist. I was in the States at the time. And he said, do you know what you need to do, Andy? You need to elevate your magnesium levels and try and cut down your calcium intake. You, you need it to be more equitable. And he yeah, said, that, right. you know, if, and I and I told him I you know, I drank milk like water you know I love dairy he said well try reducing that or cutting it I actually cut dairy out for two years I'm back on dairy now but I cut it out for yeah. two years and uh, this is at a time when it's quite difficult to do there are so many dairy alternatives now um, but I cut it out and I elevated magnesium via magnesium chloride there are so many other compounds but he said look we're used to grazing magnesium, whole grains, nuts, berries, dark yeah. greens. We graze it. You don't take it all in one go, you graze. And so applying it onto the skin in this form will go through the skin and enter your cells. And I went, okay. And he actually was working with some magnesium chloride in a liquid form and he left some at my hotel. So I flew back and I was dutifully pouring it onto my hand and rubbing it onto my shoulders because yeah. that's where I carried my stress. And after about a month, I thought, well, you know, A, I'm feeling unbelievably relaxed. 
And B, I'm sure I'm not using my inhaler as much. So I phoned, his name is Juan, Juan Rosello. I phoned Juan and said, look, thank you so much for this, this, this magnesium chloride. I really think it's, it's made a big difference. Where can I buy it? And he said, well, it's not commercially available. Um, I was sent some by, um, by this particular mine. If you want some more, I'd suggest you get on a plane and go to the mine. <laughs> and so I thought about it. And the, play, the mine was in, uh, in Vindam, in, in northern Holland. So I did. I got on a plane. I went to the mine. I saw the mine owners. And, wow. um, and uh, anyway, cut a long story short, I flew back and set up Better You because I thought, if nothing That's else, I need, I, I need this in my life. And that was the start. I've been asthma-free now for 15 years. So I'm, I'm evangelical about this because, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I remember... It's all about, you know, as I say, muscle relaxation. And in this yeah. form, it enters the skin, goes into the cellular structure of your body. You elevate magnesium that way. It's gentle. It's, it's, it, only, it only goes one way and that's up. It's fantastic. Yeah. So that's absolutely, the story of Benny Moon. Absolutely brilliant. I mean, that, so magnesium, you kind of built your brand on magnesium. Yeah. And, and I've been and, doing a lot of research in magnesium. And really yes, and there are so many magnesium. You know, malate, citrate. So many that you can take, and you, you know, and you can take them all orally. But like everything, when we talk yeah. about in my industry, when you talk about bioavailability, you're sure. talking about how easy it is for the body to extract the uh, the magnesium ion and absorb it into the body. So it's not just about the form and the provenance, which is important, but yeah. how well is it absorbed into the body? And for me, for any compound mineral, it's all about the yeah. strength of that bond. And it, for magnesium chloride, that has the weakest bond of all magnesium compounds. We used to, a long time ago, and, and I was, you know, I've worked a lot with the NHS on this one, we used to use magnesium oxide. Now, magnesium oxide has the largest amount of elemental magnesium within the compound, about 60%. So it's mainly magnesium. But the bond between the magnesium and the oxide is so strong, the body will never extract the magnesium from it so it's a complete waste of time it, it's it, it, it's 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 almost insoluble so what you want is the weakest bond so your body can immediately take the magnesium ion from that compound and that's where magnesium chloride comes into it so just to finish off on the magnesium you've got the spray the body spray yeah because i can see a lot of people here you know having a, a, a chat about asthma and, you know, we're not making any medical claims here. We're talking no. about your experience. We're talking about the research, the absorption. Absolutely. You can use that spray, you know, transdermally to get Absolutely. magnesium into your system. So complete, yes, completely yeah. safe. I mean, uh, when, um, my, my, wife's, uh, my wife's second um, uh, second pregnancy, she really struggled from cramping, severe yeah. cramping. And I used to wake up like half past three, four o'clock in the morning and she would just be, oh, I'm feeling really uncomfortable. And, you know, and I used to just spray magnesium chloride. It's, you know, it's completely really? safe. Yeah, yeah, completely safe. Spray yeah. magnesium chloride. Actually, you know, on, it was onto her leg, onto her legs. It's yeah. completely universal, completely yeah. safe for all. You know, um, skin, skin health, you know, your skin cells. Again, your skin cells function exactly the same as all your other cells. Magnesium on the inside, calcium on the outside. You know, for your skin cell to, to work as an effective barrier, you need to have enough magnesium in it. And so magnesium helps with all cellular health of the body. A couple of other things that I've got here, actually, we've talked a little bit about vitamin D and yeah. how absolutely important that is, especially at the moment. We're not getting much sunshine. It's been shown to be so immunoprotective and helpful with the, all the flu viruses and everything around us at the moment. Really important part of our immune system. Yeah. But the B complex, this is also really crucial too, isn't it? And you touched on this earlier. You talked about vitamin B12. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Let's so, just have a little conversation about Bs because <clears throat> this is great. It's got lots of B vitamins in it, including B12 for energy. So yeah. Well, again, the B, the B vitamins are, um, are a great group of vitamins. There's, 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 a, there's a number of them, B2, B3, B6, B9, B12 so many of them and they do a variety of different different forms but as we certainly as we age the importance of b vitamins starts to increase demonstrably b12 is a good one b12 um and certainly in our trials and we do a number of home tests for b12 uh, I, I've, I've recently just supported um for uh, 
girl rowers on the Talisca uh, Atlantic mm. Challenge. So that's been an amazing experience for me. Um, but, you know, looking at them, you know, B12 deficient, yeah, their diet was, yeah. was excellent. They were athletes, you know, they are pretty much yeah. deep, deep form. We see this again and again and again. The vast majority of us, certainly, uh, you know, um, throughout all life, certainly as we age, will struggle to absorb B12. Mm. And all the B vitamins are similar. They're quite large vitamins, quite large molecules. B12 is, is quite unique because you need an enzyme in your gut called intrinsic factor in order to break down the B12 from your food and, 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 and increase it in your bodies. So B12 is the one where we probably ingest a lot, don't need that much, but we rarely get enough. We rarely get what we want, and mainly right. from from um, from um, a, yeah, animal byproducts. You know, animal ingredients. So, so you know, for for those on restricted diets, let's say all the bees would probably um, yeah. be required. And that bee complex, a bee compound, is a lovely product because that's got a lovely balance of all the bees. So, energy level, mental clarity. Um, hormone balance bees are very very good for just you know managing stress very good and you're not having to swallow it like a pill <clears throat> because you spray it into your mouth in the inside of your cheeks it's absorbed straight away so does that mean that we're able to better use it are we getting more of this bioavailability because it's going straight into the system through the skin Absol in our cheek absolutely right Liz so the, the, the fact of the matter is uh, there's a <laughs> tremendous inequity in um, tablet absorption anyway. You know, right. the younger you are, the more hydrochloric acid you have in your stomach, the more healthy you are, you know, the better you're able to break those condensed mm. forms of nutrients down uh, and, and absorb them into the gut. As we age, our stomach ability to, to, to break things down starts to reduce. Hydrochloric acid um, reduces quite demonstrably. Um, but also as we start to get more and more illnesses, you know, malabsorption illnesses, you know, we all know people with Crohn's, celiac disease, um, colitis, IBS, IBD, um, even acid reflux, they will all impact the body's ability to break down food and tablets to extract the active nutrient and absorb it into the bloodstream. So what we've done, what we've developed is a way of, yes, spraying it into the mouth to coat and be absorbed through the inner cheek mm -hmm. where there's is a very very soft absorbent tissue a very rich vascular system so it goes straight into the bloodstream and that's what you're trying to do in the gut you're trying to break it down to be absorbed through the gut walls and get into the bloodstream so we're just cutting out the middleman going straight yeah. into the bloodstream that's what it's all about really effective i love that i mean i love products that work really hard and actually do yeah. more than you know it's all about it's not necessarily looking at price it's about value what's actually taking the risk for, exactly liz you're so right it's taking the risk factor out yeah. of basically your purchase it work. yeah otherwise you know there could be no point and lastly this is genius i really want you to talk about this oh this, this is one of my this is one of my favorite right. i'm so glad it's five htp yeah so we're going to have a little bit of a quick science lesson with lemon balm and passion flower, and you take it just before bed. Yeah, so we've called it lights right out. Now, otherwise, it'll send me to sleep. Yeah, we've like, called it lights out. Nice. And I think, Liz, I think I, I'm, I'm fair to say, I, you know, you're a big fan of serotonin anyway. I mean, you, you, you know, I mean, oh, yeah. so, so basically, uh, the chemistry lesson is there, there are, there's, there's a process here. So 5-HTP, 5-HTP is a precursor to serotonin and serotonin is the body's happy hormone it yep. you know it keeps us smiling keep, keep, keeps our, our mood very very positive and serotonin is the precursor to melatonin and melatonin is what helps us sleep it improves our quality of sleep it helps us drop off quicker helps us sleep for longer so so not as disrupted and helps us wake up fresher so 5-HTP serotonin melatonin and it's it's it, it is i take that i don't struggle to sleep i must admit i take that during the day that's a mood regulator for me because it, it automatically moves right. to serotonin so i take that during the day my wife takes it at night she she needs to sleep so she has trouble sometimes so she takes that at night i take that during the day it's ho it's, it's horses for courses really as i say it's you know it, it's, it's a natural natural yeah. process so 
If you're looking just for serotonin, 5-HTP will do that. If you're looking for the melatonin, it will go into yep. the melatonin production. That's so fascinating. The body is so clever, isn't it, in that it, it directs what it needs. You give it the right building block and it will provide, it will create the melatonin, it will create the serotonin. And it's got, exactly, and it's, you know, uh, uh, you're absolutely right. The body, the body is amazing and the body will develop what it needs, but we have to give it in the right form yeah. to start yeah. with. You know? so that it can. And, and we talk yeah. about, you know, we talk Brain about stress stages. management. We're all so stressed at the moment. Um, and I've been looking at this for a very, very long time. This chronic stress run, rather than acute stress, this fight or flight, this chronic yeah. stress. And, you know, I blame phones and goodness knows what. There's a time and a place for everything, you know, mm. not by the bed. You know, and, and it would be, you know, what the, what the body is doing when, when, we're, when we're constantly in, in a level of stress is producing all this, you know, adrenaline. You know, our adrenals are going mad. And going back now to, you know, the menopause and particular, you know, ages as, as we age, yeah. you know, certainly for women, you actually need the adrenals to be producing the, the estrogen, yeah. levels of estrogen, rather than, you know, worrying about running from tigers and stuff like that, you know. So, yeah. you know, to be perfectly honest, we're exacerbating situations because we're, we're using modern lifestyle <laughs> and modern food to, to, to unfortunately interrupt what is quite a natural process of our bodies yeah. are quite prepared to do ourselves. And it's not the body's fault and there's no magic medicine. It's a, it's a question of understanding what the body needs and giving it that. So try and take time for yourself. That's where, going back to magnesium, just relax. The magnesium bath that you experience, you know, the lights out, the, you know, the HTP yeah. spray, get a good night's oh, sleep. Wow. You know, don't don't drink you know don't have lots of simple carbohydrates you know mm. you know lots of sugars and stuff like that so you get this big swing of energy and crash energy and crash keep things in a balance keep things yeah. level you'll find your body is so much better able to cope with things genius love it love your sprays love the fact that it's hyper absorbed through the skin either through the soaks through the sprays whatever how do people contact you? I know a lot of people have got specific questions. Do you have a chat on your website? Can Absolutely. Can you get so betteryou.com, betteryou.com. Yeah. We've got a, a lovely group of, 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 of um, customer experience experts, Great. Who, Great. nutritionally versed. They know our products inside out. Um, ask them anything. And I oh. love to dip in now and again and, and have, have a chat as well. So, um, so yeah, yeah you, you, you'll, you'll have us all. We're all super passionate about what we do. So. Yeah. There's always someone who's willing to have a conversation. Well, I love it. And I love my sprays and my family do. And I genuinely, I am a customer. You can see I've got my customer number on your website. I use the Liz Loves code. And we're very, very grateful for the discount. And thank you, Andy. It's always a pleasure. Always learn something new. Every day is a school day with you. So thank you. Bless you. Thank you so much, Liz. Have a great rest of your week. Okay. Bye. 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 You click off there. Oh my goodness, fantastic. Just so, so good, don't you think? So, so good. So many things to talk about and to discuss. And of course, if you want more information on Better You, then do please go and check out their website, as he said, betteryou.com, and you can use Liz Loves on everything there. I think everything apart from their blood tests, because I think they pretty much do those um, pretty much at cost to find out if you are low in vitamin D, but really, really useful stuff. So before I go, it's a really exciting week. Obviously, we're saying goodbye to February. We're stepping into March. We're stepping into a brand new edition of the Lazar Wellbeing magazine. This is the beauty issue. And yeah, well, I guess I'm biased, but I do absolutely love it. It's just got so much information in here. If you have yet subscribed, then please go and check out all the subscription offers. You can find them on lizardwellbeing.com. Also, just to say, while we were chatting about nutrition, it just reminded me that this is one of the things that I have genuinely found makes a difference to me. And it's from Youth and Earth, who are the pro-aging supplement brand. I buy things from them like NMN. They're another one that I've got on like repeat dial along with Better You. This is the glutathione. I know many of you have done the nutrigenomic testing showing that you uh, don't process glutathione in the right way. There are various genetic variances that we've talked about before, things called SNPs, changes in gene expression. And about 30% of the population 
don't process glutathione properly. This made a massive difference to my energy levels. So if you are somebody who's struggling with energy at the moment, do check out Youth and Earth. They've got a really interesting website. Fascinating. Honestly, I went down a whole rabbit hole there the other evening. I was researching something for a new project and they had so much information talking about sirtuins and zombie cells and all sorts of things. Fascinating. And I love Ed and uh, van der Mullen, who's one of um, our favourite guests here, as you know, on the Instagram lives. Anyway, Youth and Earth, they are quite pricey supplements. So it's very nice that we get 20% off everything on their website. Um, Nikki, you need more beauty, do you? Oh, you've got a wedding coming up. Yeah, absolutely. Well, wishing you well for that. Yeah, I love the new issue of the magazine. It's going to land any day now. So if you're a subscriber, do please let me know what you think. Lots of really good things happening. Actually, if you have yet to subscribe to the Liz Loves newsletter, if you're watching me live, you've got a few more hours to hop on to the LizRWellbeing.com website. It's a new newsletter. So we still do our Friday ones, which is the editorial newsletter. It's full of recipes and ideas for the weekend. But there's a special dedicated one that comes twice a month, all about Liz Loves. So it's all about cost saving. It's all about the discounts and the money off. That is going to come on a Wednesday, but you have to sign up to it separately. So if you've not yet subscribed, the Liz Loves newsletter, if you'd like to get today's, jam-packed, bargain-filled newsletter, make sure that you hop onto the website and sign up for that. And if you don't like it, obviously you can unsubscribe at any time. It was lovely to see my wonderful Lily recently uh, on the last live looking at cell return. Fascinating stuff. I've been watching her Instagram actually, and also the Cell Return UK Instagram, all about the science behind LED light and near infrared and why the cell return masks are so effective and really best in class if you're looking at making that investment. Again, they are pricey. We do have a discount on Cell Return UK. It is Liz Loves 23. So it's a little bit of a dis different discount, Liz Loves 23 at Cell Return. And of course she does now have Klarna, which is the installment payment methods, which is so handy. That is it for today. I am gonna be back with you on Thursday for another live. And we are going to be looking at gut health. So we're going back into our gut again, and we're going to be looking at probiotics, prebiotics, postbiotics. Do you know the difference between the three of them, what they all do, how they can help better support our immune system? Lots of fascinating stuff. So I'm back with you live on Thursday. Make a date to join me and thank you for being with me today. Yeah, and Lydia's done so well. Thank you, Nikki. She's now in Selfridges as well in their high tech department. So she's a bit of a beauty tech entrepreneur is our Lily. Anyway, sending you lots of love. Thanks for being with me today. See you very soon. <laughs> Bye.